Hello. Hi, everybody. Hi, Joe. Hi, Emily. Welcome. Where am I? Oh, no. Oh, there I am. So, hi. The rare double street, double weekday street, all the way across the skies. Here's the deal. If you're new here, welcome back. Or if you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. My name's Kat. I'm a VTuber, variety streamer, little fella trapped in your computer. My pronouns are she, her, they, them. You can use them interchangeably if you like. Um, this is an 18 plus stream. If you're under the age of 18 and you're in here, um, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Go and study for the big test. Or something. Go, go set the table. Um... Yeah, we got a couple rules around here. Mainly, be nice and chat. Don't be rude. Uh, you're, you're sharing chat with other people, so like, be cool. Uh, we're playing a game I've never played before tonight, so I'm gonna have to ask for like, no spoilers. I've never played it, so. Um, that's pretty much it. If you want to support me in any way, shape, or form, you can support the community by subscribing to the channel. Or joining our Discord by hitting um, exclamation point Discord, you should get a link. Um, you can follow me on Twitter. It's at under the same username as I am on Twitch uh, at the back hat. And uh, or you could throw a dollar my way. Um, there should be a button underneath this lovely video um, that says support the stream, and through there you can uh, support me financially. I mean I'm. I don't, you don't have to. You're never obligated to chip anything in towards me. But if you like what I do and you want to see more, maybe give me, like, some time off from work that I can dedicate to the stream, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't say no. Hi, B. So, that's all that out of the way. I hope we had a pretty slow day today. It's Golden Week um, in Japan. And a lot of our workload is pretty light this week because of it. So I got off, like, on time, which never happens. Like, when I say on time, I mean, like, at 5 o'clock. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy. And I'm off tomorrow. I scheduled that. So tomorrow we're going to have a very special episode of Tales from My Computer Cabinet that I'm excited to share with you, but for tonight, we're gonna start a new game. And originally, I swear I'm not trying to avoid this, I did a poll like a month ago about like what to start next, and y'all picked what ended up being Earthbound, but I just finished Deltarune, and that's kind of similar. So we're gonna do the other thing on the poll, which is Tunic. And it's kind of like an isometric Zelda-like, although I hear it's a little bit more like Dark Souls. But with a twist, um, none of the game is in any readable language, so we get to figure out how the game works as we go. I'm pretty excited. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything I gotta say. So let's turn off this here- wait. Let me open Steam, which wasn't open. And I'll turn down this music. And I'll open this scene. And I'll open this game. And I'll choose this window. There we go. Is this the Dark Souls of Zelda or something? I hope not. Oh, this actually might be a little quiet. I'm gonna... Let me know if this is too loud. Uh, but I already set up all my options and stuff. Oops. Oh god, I'm doing it again. Hang on. Sometimes I try to use my controller 
while I'm playing, <laughs> while I'm in OBS and it thinks I'm trying to control OBS. Also, hopefully my computer can handle this. But we should be good. We should be fine. Oh, look at him. He is so small. He is beautiful. Oh, look at him run. Oh, I can dash. These look like the egg foam. Like, do you know what I'm talking about? Like, you can buy, like, mattress toppers at Joanne. That's, like, foam shaped like this, except it's a little rounder. So I can run through the grass. Glowy thing. Awesome. Egg crate foam toppers. Yeah. Ooh, a glowy thing. Want that. But I don't know how to get there. I don't know what that says. Okay. Stick! Um, LB. So I can set stick to- I'll set it to B. There we go. Yeah! Stick! Stick power! Am I going to be keeping notes? Um, I have a screenshot tool. You know what? Just for you, baby. I'm gonna open a notepad. It's just for you. I read okay quite clearly. You know what I mean, dingus. Okay. Stick. Wow. And if I hold the dash button, I can run. You don't have to, I was just wondering. I mean, dingus is the eel man, I suppose. Although I don't know where I'm going to keep this note. Oh, you know what I can do? I'm Barfhead, how he told me so. There we go. I can do the, the windows split. There we go. We are all Barfhead. Barfhead is a state of mind. Can't go through here. I need something sharp. I like how he looks up at enemies. LT or L trigger to target. Oh, something hit me. That, that guy. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, he can shoot very far. This requires a key. Yeah. Top down three, four perspective Z targeting? I guess so. Kingdom for a sharp thing. Right. Oh, he got me. There we go. Got my money. Don't think I can get through. Um, I came up from there, so I'm gonna go up. Wait, is there anything down here? There's a chest, but I can't get to it. Okay. Oh, 
a save point. Nice. And it, uh, it heals you too. It also reset the enemies. But here's a key. Um, I'm gonna say okay. Cause, okay, good. Key get. Oh, cool, I can look around. Uh, no. No! More language. More lies. It would be funny if they had you, like, memorize what yes and no look like. But I think that's asking a little much. Okay. And I can unlock that door. Just over here. Right? Yeah. Okay. You can't lie about language without language. That's that's true. A glowy. Okay. It's a part of the manual. Beginning adventure. Now I can't read this. Oh. Here's what the UI is. Great equipment, magic potion. Everything hurts way more when I'm tired. So if you have low stamina, you'll take more damage. Anyone who ever tried to play an untranslated game in Japanese without knowing the language ought to recognize high in EA pretty quick. <laughs> Those don't count. Well, I guess they count, but you know. Fun fact, when I was, hang on, when I was little, um, and I only heard about gold and sil Pokemon Gold and Silver coming out, like, through hearsay, like, it had been announced, but, like, there wasn't, there wasn't, we didn't have, like, widespread internet news at that time. Like we did, but I was like eight, so I didn't really know how to look it up. So it had released in Japan, and I got my hands on a version of it that was in Japanese. And I thought the Japanese alphabet was analogous to our English alphabet or Romanji, Roman letters. So I thought that if I just counted like a long the alphabet, like, let's say I was at, like, the naming screen or something, I would just count along them and match them up to the corresponding English letter. <laughs> and I thought that was me, like, decoding something. <laughs> it wasn't, and I never got past Cherry Grove City. Or Cherry Grove Town? Yeah, Cherry Grove. Um, because I didn't, I couldn't read it. <laughs> So I didn't know, like, you have to go here with the egg, etc. <laughs> you didn't know you were ready for the Reggie Braille puzzles, though. Yeah, funnily enough. I was able to make a key for myself through that. Or for that puzzle. This is actually, like, a nice game to, like, vibe out to. I know it's supposed to be hard. So I'm I'm waiting for that to happen, but until then, it's nice to just chill. I hope I find a sword. Hard vibes, yeah. You know. Ah. If this game had like bullet like a uh, witch time, that would be super cool. Like a well timed dodge thing. Well, this isn't the controller I have. It's a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. But I'll pretend for now. LT, target, enemy. 
something about page 14 that I don't have. Um, LB was access my inventory. I saw that. Else, S is move. RT is shield, but I don't have a shield. RB is, is potion. Uh, X, Y, and B is use readied item. And A is dash and run if you hold it. Yeah. Press A and hold and you run. Attacking doesn't take stamina, can't be a dark sword. Well, I don't know. Maybe if I have a sword, like I can do s combos and sick shit, I don't know. Oh, you're gonna die. Yeah. Look at him climb- Oh! He fell down. But now I have to put this ladder back. Oh, wait, no, I don't think I'm, I'm stuck now. <laughs> I don't have my- I don't have a sword. Oh, shit. Okay. I have been listening to this game's soundtrack while working. Because it doesn't really tell me anything about the game. It's not really spoiler territory. It's very nice. Very ambient. Oh my goodness. There's another one. Oh, it's one of those laser bastards. Maybe I can- nope. reach that. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> okay. Please be a sword. Uh, it's a health potion, but I will take it. <sighs> Thank you. I can go back to the stat to the um, altar and heal fully. Drink up, fox. Drink up, little man. Uh, where was that? <laughs> it was in here, yeah. Yeah. There we go. And I get my health potion back. So that's just like a resource I have now. Go back. I'm scared to keep going forward because I'll forget about stuff that is behind me. I hate these guys. Ow. Okay. Ah. 
pretty smooth flying fox. I found the target. Follow me. You know, I've only played Star Fox 64 once. And it was to test the game to see if it worked. Because my mom got it for my cousin for his birthday. Berry. Yummy. Oh, no, I want that to be. I don't know what this does. It's probably a health up. But I can heal right here. Okay. Oh, a page. Face your adversaries. Target plus A. Focus and evade. Plus R trigger is focus and block. So if I had a shield, I could focus and block with it, but I do not. Oh god. I only have a stick! Fuck! No! No, I'm going down! That's not fun, man. A ghost. I finished! Ah! Hello, Fox Mother. Fox God. Got an achievement for dying. Need a f Give me my stuff back. No, goodbye. You can't climb ladders. Ha ha. No! I want that! This sucks. There's money. God. Ouch! They weren't kidding. Yep, that's a health up. Okay. But that's consumable, as opposed to my one potion that I always have. Oh, shit. Ouch! Hero's grave, it was destined to be yours instead all along. Maybe so. These bushes, man. Oh, God. Oh, no, let me leave. I'm just a little, I'm just a little man. Oh wait, I can make you cut things down. Hey man. Come here. Wait, no, there's already a path. Alright, bye. Shit! Uh, come over here then. Oh no! Bye. Bye 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 bye. Live by the sword, die by the sword. 
You must first kill by the stick to live by the sword. No. I want free stuff. Bye bye. Hey, look, a sword. I hit LB instead of LT. <laughs> but I have a sword now. <laughs> it's fine. I have a sword. Look at this. Wow. No. Before I get my stuff, I can- there's lots of stuff I can get now. Different stuff. Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend. Oh. Well, I don't want that. Just don't lose different stuff before you get the stuff stuff. Oh no, they're distracted. I'm gonna go up this way now. There's so much stuff I can do now, though. And I can hurt people more. Wait, that's a bomb. <gasps> I'm on fire. Stop. Stop being on fire. <sighs> We're fine. Where's the frickin' ten- altar? Oh my god. RUN! Oh my god, he's so fast. Heal me, please. <laughs> Gotta find my, my stuff. This way. Go, 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 go. Hold still while I get my treasure. There. Yeah. Okay, this was just to open that gate. Oh, there I am. Nice. Okay, now I can go exploring. Uh, 
came from that way. And this way. Let's see. Let us see. I could go down this way. No, I want to go back all the way first. Deal with this guy now. I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Hang on, just a second. Gotta answer a text. See, I came from there. These guys are pretty simple now that I have a pointy. Not that I'm gonna give them any slack. Because they run very quickly. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a puzzle, really, would you? This is the first game I've played on my computer that uses the uh, rumble feature of my controller. It's very immersive. I really like the lighting effects in this game, too. Um, I have a broken thing. Oh, that made a ladder. That was... This looks like a guys in here. I can get them. Yeah, they all die in one hit now. Oh yeah, I've been in here. Yeah, I remember that little ice guy up there. So I'll just go this way. Hey, a chest. Oh god. Hi. Okay, well, I've learned, and now I have my health potion. These guys rumble a lot when they fall. Like, even when they're just laying there. Can I go through here? Yes. I- yes. Oh uh, yeah, I was just here. Okay, cool. Dramatic. Ouch! Ow! 
There we go. Easy peasy. It was close, yeah. Two potions. Wow. Um, I can't get up there though. I'm gonna drink that, actually. Look at him. He is so cute. He's got a little sword. He's got a little bandana. He's got a little blood on his hands. Oh, okay. There's no reason to go up here. Oh, but there's stuff. There's stuff, guys. Wedi Fumbodo. He is ready. He'll do what he's gotta. I walk up there. Ooh! Oh, that doesn't really do anything. Who the hell is that? Damn. Hey. Prepare for your ultimate demise, villains! Those pointy guys still get me, though. I gotta get them before they get me. Maybe I'm just done in this area. Oh, maybe. Oh, untimely. Untimely demise. Villains. Mr. Obama, I'm trapped at the be at the bottom of this well. Wow, Conquer sure looks different. Hey, Scaping Miner. It's kind. It's like it's like Conquer, but with like less boobs and less singing piles of crap and. More swords. And more gibberish. That signpost protected me. Did you ever, in Majora's Mask, play the Song of Healing for a sign that you cut in half? It's funny. It'll, like, float <laughs> and put itself back together. <laughs> You missed the Spamton stream? I'm sorry. There's a VOD. <laughs> I'm sorry you weren't there, but I, I did make friends with him and then he did perish. But it's alright. He's in my pocket now. I used to bomb the truth rocks. What does that do? Makes Doesn't it make them tell the time? Or is that just rolling into them? I believe Zelda's lullaby repairs signs for whatever reason in Ocarina. Oh, and then they rock it off. Can I go back up now? Let me put the ladder back. I have to find a way back to where I was. Are you planning to do the other path in Deltarune? Absolutely not. 
I cannot, I am not the type of person who can will myself to do terrible things in the name of seeing content. Like, this one, I think, is so bad that I don't even want to look it up. Like, because I remember in Undertale, Flowey would, like, call you out for, what, like, even watching a playthrough of it. <laughs> and I'm like, well, yeah. Oh wait, there's a door here. No, no, it's here. I don't have a map, do I? No, not yet. Oh, wait, there's iframes. Oops, I took a screenshot. <laughs> uh, you can always attack even without stamina. Oh, when you're in the bottom of your HP, your stability is affected. Be knocked over. I get lost super easy, so I feel like this is a game I'd struggle immensely with. Well, regrettably, I have seen the first couple hours of this game, and I do know that you get a map. I just... I also get lost pretty easily. But that's why we're here together, right? We're here to suffer? Right? I didn't even realize this was out. Yeah, it's been out since, uh, March. And I think it's one of Steam's top games for March. In fact, I was just there. Maybe if I go in here? Yes, I want to be up where that guy is. <laughs> Us? Suffer? You're on your own, kid. No! What do you mean? <laughs> I need to get up. I gotta get up. Um, seems like a pretty chill game. I... I've heard it gets hard. So what are the issues? It seems empty. Like, issues I have with it? I mean, I've killed all the... What was that? My monitor just, like, flashed. Wait. Um... I killed all the enemies. If I heal, like, if I go to, um an altar, and heal, all the enemies will come back. Thus fox cats slowly die without any hydration, redeems, lonely, stuck in a literal grave. Yeah. This is nothing yet. There was some place I was like, I'll go down there later. Ah, here it is. So it's going to be one of those games where you probably have to grind a ton. I think? I've heard this called, like, Dark Souls meets Zelda. Alright. You're dead. You're dead. Um. Oh, see? Now I'm in a new, new spot. But you're also-
also like finding the pieces of the instruction manual and the uh, map and all of that stuff. And it's all in a language that you can't understand. <laughs> See? I don't know what the fuck that says. But I got six of them. Oh god. No, 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 I'm just- No, leave me alone! Now just kill me. No, wait, actually don't! Do not kill me! No, stay away from me. I'm healing again. No, your cheese! Uh, what's the button to- Okay. I can assign firecrackers. Assign them to Y. And now I can throw bombs. Bombs? So I have to find the spot where I died so I can get my, my cheese back, my, my rupees. Ow. Ow. Plus, I get these two little potions that I can carry around, and if, like, they respawn every time I heal. So, you know, two potions. Now I got my stuff back. And I'm gonna try to use my bombs on the spiders. Where'd they go? Oh, they're over here. Die. Ow. Ouch. Pain. I'd like, um, to get that cool treasure chest, actually. May I? <sighs> Probably have to cross the water. Worth? Mm, don't know. Feels kind of not worth right now. <laughs> My perspective says no. No. You have not yet learned to swim. East forest. No, I was just here. Oh, but I'll heal. I will absolutely do that. And I'm almost out of bombs. Where did I... Oh, what the fuck is this? This isn't where I was. And a telescope. Um, so I've been over there. I've pretty much ravaged this area. Except for that part in the bottom right. I don't know how to get up there, and those enemies look a little above my caliber right now. So I'm gonna go over here. Where was this- where was the part I came from? Here we 
There we go. There we are. I'm seeing that there's going to be a lot of perspective stuff in here. Lower forest. I see you. Oops. Oh my god, I'm sorry I saw you. cheese. I lost at it. Gee, I sure hope there are no spiders back there anymore. I don't need to interact with them. I just need to go over here. Oh, shit. I'm trying to be considerate backseat gamer. <laughs> well, thanks. Oh my god, there's so many of them! I'm not afraid of spiders, but this is kind of a lot. But also, I'm probably gonna want to play this myself sometime, so... Oh, I see how it is. I see. See, I don't know how much use, like, healing while I'm surrounded by fucking spiders is, because... I am also surrounded by fucking spiders. But show vicariously experience it through you. Um, streamer? You missed a Fuck! That did a ton of damage. Oh, don't touch me. Nobody touch me. Everyone get away from me. Well, they back away from you. They have an interesting movement. I mean, besides the, besides the whole spider thing. <laughs> so is the story here that one of the evolutions kept eating all the cheese snacks and we're out to replenish them? Oh, what is that fucking comic with the leafy on? I know that's what you're referencing. <laughs> Maybe so. Maybe so. I'm interested in those hooks that are coming out of the ground. Die. Wait, no, I came in from here. Well, I'll take more cheese. Hey, you ate all the cheese snacks! I actually never heard the, the uh, dubbed version, so I have no idea what it sounds like. Brutal Moose actually just put out a new review of a bunch of, like, chippy, chippy snacks. Oh, the one by Desert? Yeah. No. Denied. Die. What's this? The ultimate cheese snack. But yeah, he um, eats the the cotton the hairs cotton candy balls, the the corn puff balls. Those things are gross. Well, they look gross. I've never had them. But I don't like cotton candy, so I don't think I'm the target audience for them anyway. Those guys were just praying at the altar of giant cheese snacks. Okay, Cheetos or cheesy. Like, do you get the Cheetos, the, the, thin, the thin ones, or the poofy ones? Because... I When it comes to Cheetos, I like the, the Cheeto, like, the traditional Cheeto-shaped ones. But Hairs sells these fucking... Honey Cheddar Cheese Puffs. They are so good. They are my... Go to, I'm at Sheets and I'm gonna be driving for a while snack. 
Even if they get my fingers all gross. I, I love them so much. Thin because Poofy goes faster, yeah. The honey cheese puffs are a dick. I know! They, like, they're too good. They're too good. <gasps> Run! I'm gonna go back to the main world, but I, yeah, I really don't think I can. Trapped here. Which sucks, because there was a lot of stuff I could cut with my sword. My cheese world has greatly expanded. One day we will send to accept all cheese, regardless of shape and texture. Does that include easy cheese? Because I'll accept easy cheese if you accept American cheese as, like, the best cheese product that exists. It melts so good. No. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Spray cheese is sin. You, you were the one who started it. It's hard to find all these little alcoves. I'm gonna have to second that. No to, no to American cheese or no to um, spray cheese. Is this in? You're right. I was mostly joking. I think the last time I had spray cheese, I was like eight years old. And it was just like the novelty of it, you know? Like, it's cheese in a can, wow. Not, please for the love of God, don't eat this. Ouch. Spray cheese is the epitome of just because you can doesn't mean you should. I guess. I don't think it's that egregious. But you gotta use it all in one go. Because if you can't use it all in one go, um, it it's gonna get, like, on the nozzle. And then it's gonna sit there in your fridge. And then one day, when you decide to eat Easy Cheese a second time, you're gonna have to get it off of there. Wait! WAIT! Potion. Suckle at the easy- oh. First of all, that many long E's in a row is very hard to say. Also, that is the worst thing I've ever read in my life. That's a lie. I read the thing about, um... Oh my god! What, Stink Face? Do you remember Stink Face, hon? Anyway. Wait. Easy. What is this? Oh, I remember. This is an ice potion. So I can, like, stink face. Oh my god, I forgot. So, like... I mean, this is as good a time to tell this story. I already prefaced this. This is an 18 plus stream. If you aren't 18 or older, you have to leave right now because I'm going to tell a story that is horrible. Okay, anyway. I used to draw a squid ball. <laughs> That's not the horrible part. Ouch! Wait a minute! 
I think I forgot what button I was supposed to I'm 30, but can I leave anyway? No. You can't. Um... Fuck, I forgot what I- oh yeah, I used to draw Squid Bob. And it's not that I don't anymore, it's just I don't... ...like talking to people about it anymore. Because fandoms are weird. Being a fan of a cartoon in the way, in that way, is like weird because it like it attracts people that are not people I want to interact with. So excuse you. Hey, I'm talking. It <laughs> and so somebody messaged me on Tumblr. This was years ago. This was before the pandemic. Somebody messaged me on Tumblr and asked if I would draw Stewie and Brian f fan art. And I was like, what? Who is this individual? And why are they asking me this question? <laughs> so, instead of like Re like, responding to the question. I just, like, dug up, like, who they were on Tumblr. Like, I oh my god! Okay, well, you know what? That's what I get for telling the story. Um, I just researched who they- like, I just clicked through to who they were on Tumblr, and it was- their whole blog was dedicated to, um, this one WWE wrestler, Ricky She. You fool, I didn't get to my cheese for it. No, I didn't. I was too obsessed with I wanted to press the button for the the uh potion and I forgot. Um Okay, you get him. Zero ten unsubscribe, but not cheesy. Okay, before I go back into the spider den, I'm gonna finish this fucking story. I went to their blog. They are a huge fan of a WWE wrestler named Ricky She. Ricky She, I guess, has a habit of like sitting on people's faces or something, or something. And there was just like post after post about how this person wished so desperately for this wrestler to sit on their face and do things. Like, I was, uh, like, uh, it, <laughs> it was a hard block, but, like, it haunts me that I attracted this kind of person towards me with my content. And I think it actually just kind of like... Fart into their open mouth repeatedly. I wasn't gonna say it though. Okay, so there's this person in the Simpsons fandom who always wanted me to post pics of Smithers as a dog or talk about it. I went to their page and it had a ton of bad NFS NSFW stuff. I kicked them out of the club instantly they became a nuisance. <laughs> so yeah, big note. Holy shit. Oh my god, Ricky She. <laughs> I, I just... Like, it comes... Like, I'm scared of even, like, kicking people out of communities because, like... This one person got, like, too personal with me, I think, when I was, like, 22. Like, fairly... I was younger. I wasn't, like, a spring chicken or anything, but it was just somebody that we were, like, talking about Girazant with on Tumblr. I knew them for, like, 20 minutes, and they told me, like, they loved them on Skype, and I'm like, no, we're not doing this. I don't know you. 
Also, I don't want to go back down there again, so I just want to figure out how to... My Simpsons Mutual did a commission for them before... Oh, the Wonder Bread person! <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Who was the character? <laughs> Who's blonde in The Simpsons? Because they're, like, yellow. Or is it, or is it um, somebody else? Same lady he always wanted. Just a white blonde lady. So I guess it didn't have to be a character. The cheese. Listen. The cheese is surrounded by spiders. And even though I like spiders, I don't know if it's worth getting it. Just cheese and then cheese. In. <laughs> You're right. I think she drew her like surrounded by chain down trees with a Wonder Bread chainsaw. That's dope though. Also, I realized just now that I could have used a bomb on that wall. Bombs? You didn't die where the spiders are. You're right! Um. I wish I had bombs. Hi. No. You got chased to where spiders aren't. You don't see me. Oh my god, it worked. Like... I hate to say, but like... Stuff like that, like, the squid bog, or, like, the people who, like, touch it, the people who are, like, adjacent to it, are enough, were enough for me to, like, kind of stop wanting to draw it. Even though I ship it. I don't care, like, they're adults, I don't care. It's whatever. Um, I don't, I don't want to interact with anybody who likes it anymore. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm almost 30 years old. <laughs> That's right, you used to draw that. It's not that I don't like it still, I just don't want anybody to talk to me. <laughs> like, I just remember you for your Waluigi stuff. That was another era. <laughs> Maybe one day. I'll, I'll, I don't know. I, I still love the man, dearly. I just don't know if I could, if I could do it again. I have phases, you can tell. Like, 95% of my Twitter right now is he so we lose stuff and Hunter Hunter shit. I'm not strong enough. How do I get up there? I kind of want to get up there. Because there's like pots up there. Gear him is not a phase. Oh, right! Oh my god. 90% of my stuff is spammed in a red penguin with a Riddler, so it's all good. Yeah. It's kind of why I'm excited for, um... Twitter's gonna do circles now, kind of like Google Plus did. I can have, like, a front-facing... <laughs> front-facing Twitter, and then to my friends be like, Look at this. Look at this picture of homos. Read my fanfiction. <laughs> I just kind of, like, hang on. I gotta, like, assess. I gotta assess here. That was the other thing, too. Yeah, Girazan. I like Girazan a lot, still. I just... <sighs> Zant's outfit is so annoying to draw. I usually just didn't give it to him. Love that I can just, like, talk and play this and not... Worry too much. Just is he still here? No. <gasps> Are you fucking shitting me? 
I hate this. I could have gone behind it that whole time. Yours is a good ship. It's kind of limited in that the only reason that they interact is because of Hyrule Warrior shit, but like, it's still good. Yay! Yippee! Oh, so that they, they did interact in Hyrule Warriors. I never got to play that game, so so. So, um, they are introduced separately in their respective universes. But at some point, like in the middle, um, Ganon does resurrect both of them because you defeat them. So, um, Ganondorf does resurrect both of them, and put them on his on his team so they do they don't they don't talk to each other in like the dialogue bits but you know they're they're on the same team and they fight alongside Ganon so there's a lot of um there's a lot of potential for interaction between characters in that franchise Ding! I got an achievement. Wow. Aren't you supposed to be a king yourself? Yeah. <laughs> They're so mean to Zant. I mean, Zant deserves it, but, you know... He's my little- he's the original little scrunkly for me. I love him dearly. And then there was, like, the... The... What is it called? Speculation on Twilight. Just because of how like little he got from Twilight Princess. Though if one isn't a scrunkly, what is the point at all? I don't consider I guess Gearhim is is also a scrunkly, but I don't consider him a scrunkly in the same way that I consider Zant a little scrunkly. In that like Zant I want to like beat with a mallet, but in the most loving way possible. Gear him is just cool. <laughs> Gear him is a showman. Oh, we're back in the original area. Yippee! You want Gear him to beat you with a mallet? No, I don't. <laughs> I mean, he's pathetic too, but like, in a different way. In his situation, I mean, his and Zant's are both kind of sad, their situations, in that the person that they idolize does not, or dev are devoted to, doesn't respect them in the same way that they do, or at all. Gear him exclusively uses sharp objects, duh. But like, Ganondorf in Twilight Princess uses Zant, and Zant is like, oh no, it doesn't matter if I die, because Ganondorf will resurrect me. And then, like, five minutes later, Ganondorf's like, Twilight are such fucking idiots. And he's like, uh, fuck you, actually, and kills him from beyond the grave. The queer experience is forever identifying with and enjoying antagonist content. Exactly! Lads, is it wrong to ship a ship before anything happens between them and you're coasting off hints and clues? That's the only way to ship, my friend. I mean, you could use an evidence-based ship, sure. Or you could go completely insane. The overworld. Look! It's- it's everything. It's almost everything. Um... Where am I? Okay, so I was just in the East Forest. If that's wrong, then Mordecai x Twilight Sparkle could never have happened. 
I like the idea that Spanton and Mike were probably in a relationship at what. I want to know who Mike is first, but I do like that. <laughs> he seemed genuinely, genuinely distraught. Yeah, I want to know who Mike is. See, the whole thing with Spanton is like, is Mike an, like, an actual person, or is he just like making shit up because he's, he's cuckoo bananas? Cuckoo Bananas Kungadero. Like, after I finished the game, I just, like, listened to the soundtrack all day today and felt sad. I took Zoe's shirt off, by the way. She came down to me in the storm. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Zoe's our cat. I mean, this being Toby and well knowing Spamton's a sort. Spamton's source being based off a gay man, I think there. I have a suspicion there is something there. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I just got, like, this really, like, intense, like, I realized, like, did you order the Chapter 2 soundtrack yet? I'm assuming you mean on... I don't have a, I don't have a record player. <laughs> so, um... Do you mean on CD? I've been listening to it. Fangamer has a CD. Ah, okay. I've been listening to it on Spotify. <laughs> but it would be nice to own it. <gasps> now just find random women named Zoe and remove their shirts so you can declare, <laughs> declare such on stream chats. You don't know. You don't know what kind of people we are. <laughs> but yeah, we have a thunder shirt for her and it was storming outside. These ain't real. These forks aren't real. Oh. I had A instead of B. Well, okay. That's not what I had to do before. Hey, the Triforks. But like, before I cut you off with talk, what were your thoughts about this mic? I thought... Like, I couldn't... Spamton is so weird. Like, he's so obviously, like, messed up that I don't... I could not tell if Mike is an actual person or if he's just saying shit. Run! There we go. Like, this is a horrible comparison, but, like, you know in Shrek 2... <laughs> when, um, Donkey takes the potion, and he passes out, saying, I'm coming, Elizabeth! Like, it, like that kind of situation. Like, a funny, like a funny funny. But at the same time, I know Toby likes to connect his dots, and, um, Shrek is always an appropriate comparison. But you know what I'm saying, right? He's, like, just saying shit to say shit. Also, I don't know how to fix that thing with my teeth, I'm sorry. Um... I guess the kind of thing, like... Me listening to the soundtrack and feeling sad is more about, like, Chris and Noel. Like... Toby's random humor doesn't really line up with that. I think Mike is a thing, but there's so little to go off of. It could be anything. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I'm not very good at theory crafting. Well, okay, Jem's probably gonna, like, tell me that I am. But I don't like to do it all the time because if the creator has, like, intent like, a way the story is going, I don't want to set up my expectations any one way. Like, even if I'm right, you know? Here's my thoughts. Bampton is an absolute comment and a liar, but I feel like that was a genuine emotion over something. The eyes were different, and he, well, he seems to have his visceral reactions about this one character. Yes, I did notice that he seemed to be having 
a real emotion. I mean, the other time that I felt like he was being genuine and sincere was when, like, at the end of the Neo fight, at least when you, like, try to spare him, he was really, really happy, like, genuinely. And, which makes me feel bad that it didn't work out. Mike was my panini press that mysteriously vanished in a bad breakup. Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! <gasps> Hello? Oh, you're a shopkeeper. Um... Oh, shit. And I'll take- I'll take the bomb- bombs. I want more. One theory I've seen that makes the most sense is that Mike is going to be the secret boss for Chapter 3. Honest theory that I'm coasting on, I feel like Spamton is maybe two people in one or half of someone and half of someone else uploaded in this puppet body. Well, apparently, and I didn't find this dialogue when I was playing, but apparently it's speculated that the Deltarune version of Metaton made Spamton's body, like, on MS Paint at the library. <laughs> Which isn't, like, his body is pretty much Metaton Neo's body. But that only really accounts for, like, the, the empty robot. I keep getting this white flash on my monitor. You aren't seeing that, are you? Like, I don't know if it's like a V-Sync thing or... No? Okay. Let me turn V-Sync off and see what that does. Because it's really weird. Um, well that looks like crap. It just happened again. It happens when I turn on V-Sync. Interesting. But the frame rate's a lot better with it on, so I will take it. There's more lore in the other path, but I don't want to spoil f it for you if you do want to try it one day. No, I'm pretty much set against doing it, so go for it. Although, I don't want to... If, if other people in the chat don't want to be spoiled, then I would not. But I've talked about it with Jim. Just because of the, like, Wow, dude, that's messed up! Angles. I'm running for my life. Bye, Joe. What the fuck? This is nothing. This is nothing. Oh, you know what? There's a piece of the thing, the manual, down this way. Maybe I can get it now. You went nothing. <laughs> Him, him, whimper. How get down there? Probably from here. Aha. Ah. Oh. I'm on the beach. Do -do 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 -do. Wait. Ah, shit. There's nothing. Oh, wait. Yippee! I want the 
pieces. Brown pieces. But yeah, I do know that there's a lot more Spamton lore in that group because you interact with him a lot more. A lot more differently. Well, not to spoil things, but to make them seem as vague to know. Spamton says things near the end of the other path that don't make sense in context, or it does to us. But then you realize it's self-projection, and you wonder what went on. Oh, is that like the, like... Never mind, I'm not gonna say it. Oh, can he swim? No. Damn. I noticed that he does do that a lot. He does seem to self-project on who he's talking to. Or Chris, at least. A lot of what Spamton says in these battles, you end up realizing is straight-up self-projection. Poor guy. Like, he sucks, but I don't hate it. Like, <laughs> He- he is definitely a little scrunkly. I want to throw him down the stairs. But in a nice way. And then I'll give him a cup of soup after. Okay, but you get an actual peepus room. I do know about the peepus room. It's just over there. I'm good at remembering. Yeah, he just went full Xenomorph Queen in this, but ooh, fun. We we love a we stand one Xenomorph Queen. <gasps> I don't know what that is. It's me! Tea kettle. Um. It appears to be a consumable item. Or a expendable item. I will equip it. I don't know why I tried to read that. Oh, I was already up here. Well, guess I'll go somewhere else. This would be a good time to look at the map. So I'm at the bell tower. Whoa! My eyes. Oh, it's that that's cool. It like looks like it's like actually done with like a dot printer. Um
I'm in the east bell tower. That's the west. Oh, that's where I am. So, if I want... So I need to go... So another thing, you notice the card theme from chapter 1? I have a suspicion it's still going on in chapter 2 also. I do too, at least with like, Lancer and um... Fucking... King and the Queen. Like, I think Queen is- is a spake. Although, I guess she's a computer because she's in the- How much do you know about Cardology? Oh, Gem! Gem's been doing research into this. It may or may not have to do with fanfiction. Felonius. Oh, are you actually coming up? Okay. Okay, so did you notice chapter two has a primary theme of diamond, diamonds, wealth, and merchants? Yes. Or at the very least, I noticed that there is a lot of things trying to be sold to me. Sorry, I have to check my map again. I'm right there. So I have to cross the bridge, and then I can go down the ladder. Oh wait, there is no bridge though. Well, fuck that. Fine. I mean, it fits with the whole textile, too. Oh, did you notice that a majority of the characters' shapes are made out of diamonds? I didn't. But... Thinking... There is a sort of, a certain sveltness to... Their appearance of Oh, I threw a bomb. That was dumb of me. It's the other broken thing! Right? Oh, I need another broken thing. Oops. Spamton Neo even shoots diamonds in it. That's true. I don't know what the well does, I just interact with it. Makes me feel important. <gasps> A piece! No. So my hunch, Spamton is going to be, or thematically, the Jack of Diamonds suit in this. Spamton's design is weird. He has a diamond body, his head does too if he has white hair, but the dyed hair makes his face look more like a club's, and I'm suspecting this is a clue. Hmm. Shield. A 
Okay, so when you have stamina, get the iframes, get take a normal rate of damage, you can block stability. But if you have no stamina, you cannot evade because that would expend stamina. Um take more damage. You can't block. Damn. Whoa, that's a big one! Oh my god. Where was I? Um, a jack of cards in- hang on, I gotta scroll. Jack of cards, let me do it. Sorry. Jack of diamonds card in cardology is known as the laughing boy or the salesman card. It upholds value of freedom and is also a con artist card, especially if reversed. Its karma card is the jack of clubs, and I think- feel like karma is going to be a huge part of Delta. Interesting! I can see that. Karma towards the player, perhaps, for being a dig hole. Ouch! I mean, obviously, karma towards, like, spam. Or also being a dig hole. Well, I guess that did come just, like, just came around back on him. I don't know if you played Undertale. I did. Sans had a lot to do with Karma. He did. I remember this. He would judge you at the end. I do appreciate that the claiming your claiming your stuff uh, generates a shockwave that damages enemies. That's pretty cool. People suspect that from that game, well, he's an odd one out. Yeah, that's true. Deltarune X, my name is Earl, confirm. That's a fucking poll, B. I haven't heard that in a while. I got an achievement for cutting grass! Sans also has a KR meter too, which stands for karma. Huh. But when does that, like, show up? When is that relevant? Oh, you're probably evil and bad. Sorry, I love info dumping about this, it's just so interesting. Oh no, don't worry about it! Lower at the battle in Undertale. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was a goody two shoes in Undertale. That's just kind of the way I, I play games. Isn't the poison damage in his fight just karma? Interest. I didn't know that. Those are the sins you feel crawling on your back. Guess what else has KR as an abbreviation? Chromer. Oh, he's he's not so bad. And he killed that guy for me. Oh. Ah. Oh, he's a shield. Fuck you, man. I want one of those. 
I have your shield. Oh. side of the bridge, kinda, tor sorta, torta. Lift! You did it! So, you can see that there's a ton of mystery surrounding series and spams in itself for now. Got to the point that when Big Shot was published on Spotify, they did not publish the lyrics. Oh, shit. I haven't even thought to look at the lyrics, because to my my little ears, it just sounded like, you know, now's your chance to be Big Shot. But I'm not very good at hearing lyrics, so I might just be the wrong person for that. Okay, I'm gonna try to kill this guy. I have no idea what he's gonna do though. Kind of scared of him. Ouch! Okay, nope. I'm gonna get this happy little treasure chest instead. People were driving themselves mad trying to find out what the lyrics say, and I. Th I think we have 90% clarity now from people editing it audio editors. I love, as much as I did, said that I didn't like fandom <laughs> a little bit ago, I love fandom. It's not that I don't like fandom, it's just I don't like- Oh my goodness! I got shot. So the sampling- No, the sampling. But people think it could be a source for his whole theme and the name Mike. Hmm. Fuck. I was down here? Yes. Oh, and that's the door the key goes to. No. Nobody look at me. Stop losing your cheeses, we can't afford any more. <laughs> I'm trying not to. I gotta find my cheese. Where'd I leave it? At least I run really fast. Go down. Thank you. Here I am. Out of the way of this Beemos. Ouch! I know that's not a BMOS, but it's functionally a BMOS. Jesus. I don't have a shield! I can't protect myself! Help! I'm just a little guy. Ah! No! No! Go up the ladder! Ooh. Hello? Where am I? Hello? It's purple in here. Can I has cheese? No. What the hell? Wait.
this whole time. That's nuts. What am I looking forward to in chapter three? I kind of just want to fix things. Like, I know that sounds like kind of trite, but I kind of just want to, like, I feel bad about Chris's situation and I don't want to make it worse. And also, Ralsei is hiding something. He. I noticed there are a lot of broken relationships in this game. Yeah. Rossi. Rossi acts fucking weird. And th something I noticed that I think is going to be significant is that he broke a boundary in the Spamton Neo area. He steps outside of the boundary to like circle around you. And be like, are you okay? Think of something, think of something happy and soft. Meanwhile, like, Chris is having, like, a fucking existential crisis. And I'm like, dude, that's not how you do, that's not how you befriend. Like, I also think he was, like, railroading. If that makes sense. Oh my god. Like, yes. I'm sure his intentions are good. Like, I do not think Ralsei is evil. I just think that... He knows things that we don't and doesn't want to divulge them. Like, his... His focus on his mission is so much that he is willing to withhold information. I have seen theories about Ralsei ranging from him being an extension of Asriel to what Chris wants to be to what Chris desires in themselves. But they kind of act like they don't like them at all. Which I guess can can match with that, but Oh my fucking god. Like, I guess it makes me feel kind of bad for making them hug Ralsei on the on the boat, just because um, like if they weren't feeling it, I feel bad for make forcing it, you know. Like, knowing that I'm the problem doesn't make this any easier, because I don't know how to make it stop. Will you fucking leave me alone? God. But yeah, like I said, I don't think Ralsei has bad intentions. I just think that he is letting what he wants to accomplish get in the way of his interpersonal relationships. And that might just be fine because like maybe these interpersonal relationships don't matter too much. But I suspect that they do. I feel like Ralsei is a comfort companion and this is bad too because being comforting also means Leaving out important details not to worry someone. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like... Like, glossing over the fact that, like, we saw something very scary. Ouch. Oh! My cheese. Double KO. Yeah, but <laughs> no cheese. I 
forgot about my potions too. I always forget. Like they're right fucking there, dude. I don't even know what the tuning fork is supposed to do. Don't look at me. I also know he- hang on. I have to find my cheese. Please hold. <coughs> How about everyone leaves me alone? The chest. Oh, I have no idea what that fucking is. Cool. I also feel like he knows more about them turning into statues and perhaps what fountains can do. Yeah. Yeah. Why fountain bad? I know why fountain bad, because he said, but like, is there more to it than that? Is he not going to tell me? You motherfucker. I don't know what happens if it lightner to a lightner if they stay in the dark world for too long. Will anything happen? Cause like time obviously passes at a weird rate. But is there like hyper aging? Maybe Toby's just setting us all up for a joke and then things are way less shady than we think, like with a knife. Maybe. I'm interested to see who was in the TV. Because that looked like Flowey. And as far as I'm aware, Flowey doesn't exist. Because Asriel is alive. And also Chris's older brother. Like... That can't be flowy. And yet. Ouch. The combat in this feels pretty nice. Just gonna drop a little nugget of game criticism every now and then. Feels good to hit things with a sword. Delta Rune is just Flowey's AU fanfic. Oh god, no. Fun fact, because I noticed that you didn't see it. Did you know TV was unplugged in Chapter 1 till the beginning of Chapter 2? And it's covered in dust. I knew the TV was unplugged last chapter. And I knew the TV was covered in dust. Gaster is rules self-insert OC. Please, no. Oh, those just give me free money. Okay. I have a bomb. I have a bomb. I have a bomb. Okay, you're dead. Uh, I guess I'll go unlock that door now. <laughs> oh wait, my cheese! No, I found it. I can go. <laughs> like how I'm calling it that now. So another thing you didn't notice, when you're in the basement, you miss the face looking at you from the shadows. You're right, I did miss that. I did notice it, um, when I was looking at TV tropes. Because the second I finished the game, I immediately rocketed off the TV tropes, and I'm like, Show me everything now! Hey, wait a second! I was opening the door! You can't do that! I was mid-cutscene! Well, the door's open. 
No door iframes. Gotta use the, uh, the door strat. Even Dark Souls gives you invincibility when opening stuff. I got- I died for that cheese. That one cheese. Oh. It's that glow- it's the purple again. SHIELD! I can shield! Wait, there's a switch in there. The blood's in the basement when you stay still for a minute or two. Look at you and transform into flowy faces. Ooh. I didn't know they turned into flowy faces. They were just described on TV tropes. To be scary faces that look at you. And I was like, that sure sounds scary! And then I didn't proceed. Because it was scary. I've lost too much time on TV tropes regarding various things. That's the story of TV tropes. A tooth! Is there any more? Okay. On the cutting room floor, so on the cutting room floor found a prototype of the basement theme and its file name is spamptonhouse.ogg. That was not a link. You know, you're fine. It went through. I thought it said spamptonhouse.a. <laughs> what I noticed was that it sounded like Flowey's theme on a second listen. Which was spooky, spooky, scary. A tomb. Hello. Oh God. I need a light. I need a light. Run. Oh my God. That didn't do anything. Help! Get me out of here. Okay. Some people think this was going to play in Spamton's shop while other th people think the basement was Spamton's house. Didn't he have a suite in the mansion though? Like, so that makes sense. I like bombs. A chili pepper. <gasps> Oops, I was throwing bombs. Does my sword, my shield have durability? That's fucking trash, garbage. Shitty game. He did, but we don't know why or how he ended up in knowing what was in the basement and why there are train tracks with coasters with his heads down there either. And Spampton's shop is located right under the coaster when we first meet him too in the trash zone. Hmm. Hey now, are you calling Skyward's- I can't even open a chest. Peace. Hang on, I gotta readjust myself in my chair. <laughs> okay, 
I guess I see how this gets hard now. Yeah? Oh god, I don't even remember where I was. I j Thank you. I shall. Oh no, I went this way. Okay, I'm in brown. I gotta get my cheese back. All of my delicious cheese. An altar! Yippee! Another peculiar thing is how most of Noelle's dialogue with spammed and stuff usually has her acting familiar with them. Oh. I didn't notice that. I guess I haven't had them interact, though. Ouch! Um, something I notice on my Raul Say is Suspicious kick is sometimes characters don't even notice him or, like, acknowledge him. Like, he's- he a fucking figment of your imagination. <laughs> like, I don't know if he's, like, a not real thing, but I do think that he has, like- Because, you know, like, when he dies, he, like, melts into a puddle? I think as, like, a creature of darkness, he can, like, move around beyond your, like, he can move through shadows, maybe. I don't know. Sometimes Rolse we'll is your imaginary friend, but sometimes he's not. Because Susie sees him. But he doesn't seem to, like, interact with Noelle at all. Maybe he's like those monsters in Doctor Who that you forget about the moment you look away from. I don't know what that is. That is. No, I know who Doctor Who is. I just- <laughs> I just don't partake in the Doctor Who. <gasps> Where was my body? Where did I die? Fucking ow. Go! Well, it's gonna be there now. I'm sorry for my heavy baby size. I'm just trying to think about like while Ra why Ralsei is suspicious and also kill these monsters. Also, cool fact, it was just discovered that there is a kind of fun value thing you can get with Ralsei in the code during the alt path, but it's so minimal you barely notice it. Interesting. Now I wonder what that would be used for. Because... <gasps> Sorry! Sorry. Um, no, I don't actually know what I'm saying. I guess exactly what I said. I don't know what it would be used for.
Can I not parry? Fuck that. These ain't, um, what's their fucking Octorox? God. Oh, hey, it's my body. Go on, bomb. <laughs> Maybe this is a parry like Breath of the Wild to- oh, so like, you gotta be really, really precise with it. I've done that maybe like, once. Yeah, no problem, this gaming binder. Take your time. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um. I go all the way to the left. After Tunic and Elden Ring this year, it probably was for the best that Breath of the Wild 2 got delayed. Gotta distance itself from all of these other similar games. I wouldn't say this is too terribly similar to uh, Breath of the Wild. There's no crafting. Oh, I was just here. What the hell? What the hell? No crafting yet. Yeah, that's fair. I'd love to make some more bombs. Bombs. Um. I was going to the left, wasn't I? Ah! Nope, 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 no, 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 no. 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 It's not happening. It won't happen. Not to me. Hey, a chest. That's not health. But thank you. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> This is current year, every game needs crafting. No, it doesn't. I don't like crafting. Oh god. Run! Run! Ah! <laughs> Guys, everyone's gonna think I'm bad at video games. It's not my fault that I'm bad at video games. I just threw that in the river. I'm the bitch now. Hey! Hey, 
I know, you beat Spanta Neo, you are a gamer. Only because you helped me. No! Oh shit. Oh, Lola killed him. Run. What I hate about these fucking Bemos is that they shoot, like, very far. Basically, if you can see it, they can see it too. Oh, shut up. Get out of here. Um. Oh, hey, I'm right by where I wanted to be. Fuck you! Get out of here! Come oh, on, man. Come on, man. Does she remind you of Bowser too, or am I the only one? Um, she doesn't give me total B Bowser vibes. I can see why you would think that because of her like wristband or her armbands. To me, she's just a gay dinosaur. <laughs> That's my astute observation on that. They're both hot reptiles. Ha! Ha! She has the haughtiness and the frankness. I guess, like, if we're talking about, like, a, an alpha dream Bowser, I'd agree with you. Don't go in there. It's dark in there. Susie feels like a younger Undyne at points to me. I think Undyne is her own brand. But yeah. Ooh, a chest. <gasps> a flower. Danger. I find it funny that everyone wants Susie. Her hair grows with each chapter. I think Chris has a crush on Susie. <gasps> I want to know what's up with Rudy and Asgore. Yes, they were definitely exes. I didn't mean to say yes in, in that way. I meant to say yes and not yes because I hate that shit. Susie's probably my favorite. Oh yeah, for sure. I love her a lot. She reminds me of Jem. Jem doesn't eat chalk, but... Susie 
sometimes when we went to like the museum of natural history there would be like the rock exhibits and they would show all the crystals that form like in like big pointy big pointy spikes and Jem would be like I want to eat that <laughs> and I'd say why be pointy and they're like exactly like they want to feel all the little points And it's just like, we're both neurodivergent. We both stim in different ways. Jem loves, sen like, loves, I guess, the more stimulus, the better. The mouthfeel, the forbidden candy. <laughs> but for me, it's like, I don't want to touch that. That... Like, certain textures, like, I feel, like, in my spine. I hate that shit. Yuck. Um. I have a pillow that's made of, like, really soft terry. Like, super soft. And I can't sleep without it. <gasps> I was drinking my juice! It's like when someone rubs their hands. I hate that. I can feel it. Oh, like, I'm not gonna, to, I'm not gonna do it, but that, like, little wispy noise it makes. I don't like that either. I need a potion of everyone leaves me alone. Ah! That one shot me in the face. I've been delving into ASMR recently. Oh no. And it's wild what triggers some people and what doesn't. ASMR, like the kind of stuff where like people like whisper into the microphone. Per first of all, if I can hear your saliva, we have a problem and I'm gonna have to like turn that shit off. Second, um, when people whisper into the microphone, it does, like, make me feel yucky and gross, and I guess that's ASMR. But I don't like it because it makes me feel yucky and gross. So, also, I was right next to the fucking thing. I hate this game. <laughs> I don't hate this game. I am getting sleepy, though. I might stop soon. But first I have to find my corpse. I'm not sure I've found anything labeled as ASMR that calms me. Um, there's some visual ASMR stuff that I I like to watch, but I don't like seek it out. Like if it's on Twitter or something, and I'm already looking at it, I'll watch it. Like of like cake decorating videos or soap cutting videos. <laughs> or um slime videos. definitely an, a rabbit hole with ASMR though it has a weird reputation for some reason because 
I think it has a weird reputation because of the very pretty ladies who are talking into their microphone who people assume have jobs doing something else with the microphone. That's all. And whether or not those people have other jobs that involve a microphone is their business. And if they're making money, good for them. I'm gonna go to bed because I'm tired. I didn't know, I keep forgetting that they can kill you while you're doing a, a scripted thing and it makes me sad. Let's, let's raid somebody. I feel bad because Scheming Miner is cooking ramen, but it's okay. My music is gone. It feels artificial to me and sends my reflexes into overdrive. If someone was whispering in my ear on the subway, that would be weird. Yeah, it would be. Let's raid somebody. Oh goodness. Lots of people streaming. Oh, I'm gonna send you to uh, Andouille's. It's weird to see him streaming so late, but he's got some good good shit. He might be. This is just chatting, so probably also gonna be chill. Great phrase is cheese. You got it. Here we go. Oh, it looks like he's making a tier list. Oh right, he's making a film bro tier list with his husband, who is a film major. So that'll be fun. Hope you like movies. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Remember, um... Tales from my computer cabinet is tomorrow night. Please come. I love you. Bye.